we've experienced so much tragedy in western New York from 514, and then the community has lost a beloved pediatrician, Dr. Yeah. Jonathan Daniels. A person that has touched so many people, not only through his care as a doctor, but also through the example he left behind. He was the one who cared for so many children in Buffalo. He just exuded calmness, and he's so intelligent, and he just put people at ease. Dr. Jonathan Daniels was one of a handful of black pediatricians. I know of people. Yeah, already. Who, I mean, are crying because he saved their lives in tears. I, I, I can't. I don't have enough arms to console the number of people who are hurting by his his loss. Dr. Emmy Nylander knew Dr. Daniels going back to medical school. His patients, uh, many of whom I, I delivered. Um, are, are going to be at a severe loss, um, especially the community. Tara, a mom, wrote, I never had a black doctor growing up, but my daughters were privileged to have Dr. Jonathan Daniels as their pediatrician. He cared for them all their lives and knew how to talk to them even when they didn't want to, especially my youngest. She'd give you that blank stare, like, don't talk to me, but it didn't phase Dr. Daniels. He would share stories about his daughters to get her to open up. It's not often that you meet people that leave a long-lasting impact. He was one of them. Dr. Daniels had a heart of gold, and I'm saddened by the tragedy of his death and two daughters, Jensen and Jordan. Dr. Nylander was well aware of Dr. Daniels' push for diversity in the medical community as he worked to broaden the pool of students entering medicine. This year's class is one of the largest incoming classes of African-American and black and brown students that we've had in a long time. And here he is, pictured with some of the students at the UB Jacobs School of Medicine. He's part of the admissions board committee as well. And so um, he sees them coming in and he sees them leaving. And he's always so proud of what they've accomplished and what they're going to accomplish in the future. They're, they're his legacy. July 4th, fire ripped through Dr. Daniel's home on Huntington Avenue. Fire officials say he went back in to save his two daughters. For that, they call him a hero. Dr. Daniels, along with his daughters, Jordan, 27, and Jensen, 23, died. His wife, Janessa, survived. She's out of the hospital. Their daughter, Jillian, was not home. He was the proudest girl dad I've ever seen. He loved his girls. The family bond was like nothing I've ever seen before with him and his wife and his three girls. He was a true gentleman. You know, I, I think I... I had him as a student, uh, and then later on came back. I said, one day we'll work together in May, May of this 2021. He, cho you know, he chose to come and join our practice. But uh, the patients loved him. That's why I always wanted him to be part of my system. Uh, caring, uh, he, he was an associate a clinical pro professor with the department of pediatrics and also with the admissions department. During the pandemic, we heard from Dr. Daniels. We have to go back to the basics. Whenever you have a medical issue, you go back to the basics. How can you mitigate what's going on? And that's going to be hand washing, face masking, face masking, and I call it physical distancing. He was honest with people. And I think growing up in the community, you know, and really attending schools here, uh, it changed people. I mean, he, he was just more engaged. He loved taking care of people. He loved educating them about their health issues. He liked seeing them grow up and become, you know, fruitful individuals in life, you know. Um, he was so proud of his babies. He really was. He was proud of those kids that he helped to raise. My daddy taught me and my sisters the ethics of hard work in community building and direct giving and direct mutual aid and direct two-person caring for one another, direct community building. I lost my sisters, I lost my dad, and my life has irreparably changed. She bravely spoke at the funeral. It was packed, as the program said. They were the wolf pack. I am Janessa Gibbons Daniels, proud wife and lifelong partner to Jonathan David John John Daniels. We are going to come together and celebrate my awesome, extraordinary, exceptional family man. He was a very proud, proud and private person. He was never boastful. 
and definitely not arrogant or assuming. However, those girls of mine are saying, yes, Buffalo. We see you. Good job well done. Family, honor, duty, and service were Jonathan's core values. Jonathan and the girls were mission focused. Lip service does not move mountains. Actions and deeds are what gets us across the finish line. And the spirit, absolutely, absolutely. And the spirit of the wolf reminds us that the greatest gifts in life are your relationships with those you love and respect. So I'd like to say at this time, farewell to my king. Farewell to my Princess Jordan. Farewell to my Princess Jensen. Billy and I will eventually be okay. We will work tirelessly to continue their legacies. We will reunite someday on the other side. Until then, enjoy your endless supply of milkshakes, cake, hot dogs, and fries. Just a few of their favorite things. I love you to the moon and back. Such a loss. His loss, Dr. Daniels, had such an impact on the community. It's going to leave such a hole. But he also leaves behind a tremendous legacy. Yes, and so our hearts go out to the Daniels, Gibbons, and Wajed families and all of those patients and the UV Medical School as well.